That's a lot of scales. We should probably do a montage. Real men listen to classical music. Real men. If you don't, you're just faking it. What's up? Uh, I thought I'd give myself a break because dang, that's a lot of scales. Uh, and my hand is killing me. So right now, I'm in the process of, as you've seen, I'm in the process of scaling the entire fish. Getting pretty tired, I've done thousands of scales thus far. And uh, here's a couple of tips and tricks while I'm waiting to recoup tip here is to actually take your scales that you're applying and put them kind of within a half inch of each fin because what's going to happen is when you apply each fin you're going to use filler and that bondo or whatever other filler you end up using to tie it into the rest of the fish uh, you don't want to repeat the scale pattern because obviously it takes forever to do it so getting within a half inch you can see there a half inch or so of the actual fin placement location is probably best after we're done applying the uh, the scale pattern, we're gonna go back with the wood burner and we're actually gonna apply a couple little details that usually you could do with the Dremel, but it's easier with the wood burner and gives you a nice crisp edge. So that's a little fun tip. Uh, details. You'll notice I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex on the wall. That's huge and that is another project. Now, the scales are done. And my dogs. So now, it's on to detailing the mouth. So it's really hard to tell. But I've actually detailed the mouth out with a couple different Dremel tools. I used the round ball to get started and get it hogged out. I actually used a smaller round ball to get really into the details and the fine stuff around the tongue and the top of the mouth. And uh, sanded it up. And now it's on to mounting the fins. All right guys, I gotta level with you. Um, this is a part where real wood carvers are gonna just freak out. Uh, I'm a power carver, I don't hide it. Bondo. Let's do this.
Okay, so it's really hot in the shop. Um, some Bondo was definitely harmed in the making of this fish. I basically ended up doing about one fin per Bondo mix. And luckily, I was able to get the fins on and it looks good. The fish is coming together nicely. And now it's on to final sanding and then some touch-up scale work and then on to primer.